All right, what's up, YouTube? So the first thing you want to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, upload the RetroArch joypad for the Zinmo Dual Arcade. I'm going to go ahead and give you both options here, one with spaces, one with no space. Um, and what you want to do is go ahead and download those files. And on your Raspberry Pi, you're going to go ahead and network into go to the network, click on the Raspberry Pi. You should then go into, you should have a folder called configs. Go into the config folder. That this is the config folder here. Go ahead and go to RetroArch Joypads, and then go ahead and copy over those two files you just downloaded below, and replace any files you have already. So it's going to transfer over the right config files. Uh, next thing you want to do is just go ahead and turn off your Raspberry Pi, and take out the micro SD card. Put the micro SD card into your computer. And then uh, you should see it as a new device here on the side. It might say like SDXC or it'll come up as a micro SD card. Go ahead and click into it and you should have a file. One of the files in there should be commandline.txt. Go ahead and do open with, and I recommend opening it with WordPad, but Notepad will work. And yours might have a bunch of different stuff in here. Don't really worry, but just go ahead and skip down one line. In the description below, there will be a code and just go ahead and copy and paste that. It's the USB HID .quarks equals zero by 16 C zero colon zero times zero five E lowercase one colon zero X zero four zero. So adding this to your command line, go ahead and exit, go ahead and click save. And you've now updated that into your uh, micro SD. So that's all set up. So this should do it. If you have any additional issues, go ahead and uh, if you're in a system, for example, like you may have an issue with Nintendo 64, Go ahead and press select X to get into Retro Arc, and you may have to redo your controls for uh, Nintendo 64. But other than that, everything else, I've tested this on the arcade and all the other systems, and it works just fine. You can always go into Retro Arc and change your controls uh, if you do have any additional issues. So let's check it out on the bar top. All right, and here's the final test. We added all the scripts and everything I showed you before. Now here it is in the bar top with the same controls, same encoder. All I did was I put the micro SD back into this Pi. I was using a different Raspberry Pi. It doesn't matter how many Raspberry Pis you have, just, you know, the, it, it all saves onto the SD card there. So we launched the game and um, you can see it says 100% there working. So let's enter some coins and then hit start. Pick a pilot. I'm going to start with just one player and then add in the second player so you know I'm doing it exactly like you want to see. Okay, so first player works, right? Oops, I just used my special. Okay, so here's my. Okay, so I died, right? So first player's here, and then second player, I'm inserting credits, press start, and see now I'm flying both airplanes. And then I can shoot with this. Let's see if I can go one handed here. All right, look at that. You can play, you know, look at that. See, if you have no friends, you can still play two player. Okay, don't be sad. So here I have one first player is the blue one here. I'm in the middle of the screen, I just died. Right, blue, and then we got red, right? And here we got red, I'm gonna throw a bomb. And you see red just died. Back to blue, picking up all the power ups. Get red back in there. So red's in here now. Blue's gone, it says continue, start. And we're good again. So there you go. This is the two player start select out. Uh, we now have fully co compatible, playable, two player bar top. Really cool, it's the same for an arcade machine, whatever. Um, this particular one is running the, it's kind of a hybrid between Motion Blue and Hyper Pi, but it'll work for Emulation Station as well. You just need to get those retro arc um, controls. As you can see, both first and second player can go through the menus, no problem. And as you saw earlier in the game, we're all good. So there you have it. Get the two player working, have some fun with your friends, or by yourself, or be ready whatever it is. If you could like this video, I'd really appreciate it. Subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already, and we'll see you on the next one.